Hi everybody, we're going in a Goodwill in a town not too far north of us called Elk River, Minnesota. I have found some nice things here. So Norm's with me. Say hiya, hi, hiya, Norm. Hiya. Hello. We just dropped off some things, so I got my 20% coupon, and we're right by a noisy highway, so sorry about that. Motorcycle. Motorcycles. It's summer. <laughs> so let's go see if there's anything good in here today. I want to get a cart, Norm. You want a cart, huh? Yeah, yeah, you want a cart. You a I'm not trying to fill it, but you never know. And there's lots of music in here, so we'll have to be doing voiceover. Try my hand at it. Well, Norm walked away, and I looked down on the bottom shelf and saw what looked like a macrame plant hanger or something. I thought, wow, this looks like a huge one, or maybe it's more than one. But it turned out, as I kept pulling and pulling, it turned out to be a very large wall hanging. I have no idea if this is vintage or not so I got Norm to come over back in the aisle and hold it up so you could see it. It's only $5.99 and again we had 20% off so we did decide to take this home rather probably me. I noticed on the bottom shelf there were two of these very pretty amber ribbed glass shade replacements for maybe hurricane type lamp little table lamp and they could be Italian very pretty I noticed this vintage I assume ten and a half inch clear glass Christmas tree apothecary jar or candy container there's two for sale on the internet for fifteen and nineteen dollars amazing <laughs> I thought this was a fun old looking rooster figurine. My brother just gave me lots of roosters and some of them look like this. They're a little off-white and there's crazing on them and the red gobbler color was missing in the, in the uh, crown. So I would have painted it but I left it there. I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing this half mug, half for a half a cup of coffee. I wasn't going to get it, but when we got home and Norm saw this video clip, he said I would have bought that. Well, if he would stick around me, then... Isn't this the cutest set of owls? I don't think they're bookends. Norm said, nah, they're not bookends. But it just kind of made you think that because of the way they fit together. But they're just adorable. It looks like a mom and a and the baby. Oh, so cute. He's always finding fun things, but I told him they were new. And of course, blue is not my color. But we just have fun seeing what's out there in the stores. We never go to regular stores. But that was cute. Well, this was a very lovely owl vase, uh, blown glass. I did buy a very small green one a year ago, but I've always wondered if some of these are new and reproductions instead of being blanko like a lot of people say they are. So I didn't get it. It's called honeycomb design and there's one smaller eight inches right now on Etsy for $55. Well this is a good size very detailed ceramic owl for $6.99 made in Japan. 
I would have had Norm spray paint it if I was going to get something like that because I'm not crazy about the dull finish. But a lot of you might really like something like that and it's a good deal if you just enjoy the natural look and the berries on it and leaves are very pretty but just not my style. This seems like a vintage piece, not really sure. It's all inlaid pieces of glass that you can feel. It's handmade in Bali. The tag has been taken off, so we have no idea how old it is, but it kind of looks like it's been around for a while because of the bottom. Not sure. I see an awful lot of swan figurines all the time. They are pretty. I never really knew that there were three types of swans. In the United States, there is the mute swan, a trumpeter swan, and a tundra swan. The mute swan is not mute, but it actually originated in Europe. And it was brought over to the United States to decorate our ponds in parks. So it has the curved neck, the pretty curved neck, like that one and these shown up here, which is pretty typical when you look at figurines. It has a orange bill, which is also makes it very colorful. The trumpeter swan has a black bill as well as the tundra swan. The tundra swan is probably the smallest and they both can be seen together in more natural habitat areas, um, but they say you can see all three of them often together in one area. I thought this was a pretty decanter. It looked like it said on the bottom, France or your wet bar, or if you just have a pretty bottle collection. I thought it looked kind of nice. Only $3.99. In the metal aisle, there were a lot of very nice pieces of old aluminum trays, etc. Basket looking pieces. This was uh, one of two. They're both the same and really pretty, I thought, with the pierced edges on them. Roses, so nice. Well, this could have been a valuable piece to resell, but I chose not to get it. It was a real deal, but it is made in France and the mark is shown on the side, Ville Du, V-I-L-L-E. D-I-E-U, one word. There's a lot about it and that area in France and the their copper pot. So this is a little saucepan. It looks to me like brass handles and a brass lid and a ceramic knob. Billy Do. Something I don't know anything about, I just know that copper is very popular right now. From pictures I looked at on the internet, this looks like an antique brass tea pot, not a tea kettle. It doesn't have a large handle over the top of it like the kettles do. So this could be considered a teapot, so it's either vintage or even possibly antique. There seems to be a lot of old things in this Goodwill store that I don't know anything about. This looks really old to us. I have no idea. Looking at the patina, the fact that it's carved or etched on the front, uh, really looks old. I'm only going by the patina on it. So, and a elaborate design. I don't even know if there's any kind of mark on it that would show that it's silver plate. 
it seemed lightweight to me. So I, sorry I don't know anything about it, but thought it was interesting. Well, this was an interesting find. It could be vintage, it could be antique, uh, according to lots of photos I was looking at on the internet. They can be Scandinavian or German. And this kind of looked like some of the German ones, which actually got pretty pricey on the internet. So who knows, uh, unless you can identify on this wall to the right a piece of clothing hanging there. It probably is a little hard to tell. The label is missing off the back. But look at the little clock. Neat beams in the ceiling. These are very fun. They're called shadow box or dioramas. But yeah, there's just no way unless you're an expert of telling its age. We thought you'd get a kick out of this sign. I can see a mom doing that who's got little kids. Very funny. Well, this is a large old plaque. Is that from the 60s? It is Hummel-like children, very cute little scenes. The pictures are raised a little and they feel like a bumpy texture. I know the camera's moving kind of fast there, but that's an oldie, but would be cute in a kid's room if you like a real vintage look. Nice. Well, I guess we should have taken three of these home. They are Ellie Smith Moon and Stars Pattern Wine or Water Goblets. But this one over here, the fourth one, was cracked. Right now on eBay, I find one for $19.50 just for one. So that would have been a nice profit, but I just don't have time to be selling extra things right now. Well, hello, pretty thing. This is Empoli glass, blown glass. I recognized it right away. It's called Optic Design. $2.99. It is actually an apothecary that, from what I see on the internet, it's missing its pretty little lid. But I still liked it enough to take it home. It's a beautiful color and design. This is an unusually shaped pitcher with a lid on it like that and such a large spout. I don't know what you would pour out of that gravy or is that just a huge creamer? Really different. But the floral design on the front is transferware. I did purchase this bud vase on the right. I have a very small one, half that size in a similar shape. I never knew if it was hobbyist or not, but we saw something in another aisle that had a label on it. It looked the same only it said it was from Alaska like a souvenir. I thought this was a really pretty melt glass rose designed bud vase. It definitely needed cleaning but it is a very pretty little bud vase that I don't need. I've got plenty of bud vases. Well this is a very crazy tiki mug Psycho Susie's Motor Lounge in Northeast Minneapolis. That's a funny way they pronounce Northeast Minneapolis over there. It's been a long time joke, I guess. But he's pretty scary, isn't he? Uh, we decided not to get him for $5 just to have to turn around and sell it. He's pretty scary. Thought you'd get a kick out of seeing him. This looked like a vintage, very fruity, 
picture going by the bottom mark of a number. Somebody else tried to peel the label off too, so they were actually suspecting that it was vintage or they wouldn't have been trying to take the label off. Just thought you would enjoy seeing that. I'm convinced this is a 60s Danish enamel tea kettle. It is worn at the end of the spout and the top of the handle shows wear. So it's been loved and I really do think it is 60s style. I did see one on the internet in red. Well, these were a surprise to find. They are vintage Henri, I think you would say, A-N-R-I. Those look like initials, so I don't really know if you just pronounce it Henri. But they are vintage hand-carved and painted solid wooden plaques made in Italy. And Henri shops are located high in the Dolomites. They're mountain, it's a mountain range, high in northeastern Italy on the border. So these are quite interesting. Uh, you see them on the internet for quite a variety of prices. This one's 1981 or 82, the Shepherd family. So that's a Christmas plate and this one is a Mother's Day plate. The first Mother's Day or the beginning it's called. A 1978 one. So the artist is, um, I forget how to pronounce his name, Ferraradiz, F-E-R-R-A-D-I-Z. But anyways, that's uh, very neat, hand carved, hand painted, and I learned a lot about the Dolomites. You might want to read about those mountains. It's quite interesting. So I got to thinking I actually have, from quite a few years back, a tiny little hand-carved ornament that a friend told us who collects vintage Christmas um, items, especially German she likes. Um, she told us about the on, Henri brand of carved Christmas ornaments. So that was kind of neat. See, it's F-E-R-R-A-N-D-I-Z. Ferrandez? She has a little paint loss on her nose, but it's uh, still a very, very sweet pair of plaques. Just thought these would be interesting to show you. Carved candle holders. Looks like something Laura Caldwell would pick up on her channel. She is uh, very much into boho decor and loves everything brown. Always gets kidded about buying everything wood. I thought this was fun. It's a, looks like a sea turtle. Designed in Hawaii, made in the Philippines. It is an item from 2010, but again, Laura Caldwell, who shows boho decor, she would probably pick up a serving piece like this and she cleans them all up nicely and oils them and they look good as new. This is very unique. It is a wooden bud vase, but it's got a brass flower on both sides. I don't think I've seen anything like that before, but I admit I'm not typically looking very hard in the wood aisle. As you know, it's not something I collect, but that was cool. And these look really old and used. There's a little mountain there carved on one side and they look like little tiki huts on the other side, other sides. So I don't know where they're from, but they look really old and used. This was a little jewelry box that needs a very good cleaning. 
it is made in Japan it doesn't look like it's torn or or stained it just looked uh, pretty dusty dirty inside and the outside didn't look chipped made in Japan so that is a lacquered box wooden box and the bird picture is kind of nice just thought you would like to see that well, I thought this was an adorable rooster cookie jar. It did have a chip on the crown, which we'll show you here in a few minutes. The back edge of the crown had a chip on it. But it was very cute, and I really struggled to figure out the name on the bottom. It says Gilner, G-I-L-N-E-R. And on the internet, it shows Gilner California Pottery Rooster Cookie Jar 1999. So that was hard to figure out the G on there. It was really hard to read when we were in the store. But I finally found it when I got home here. We did not buy it. I don't have gray things anywhere or silver. Those are just two colors that I don't use in our decor. This looks like a vintage 80s Kimco, K I M C O, music box made in Japan for $3.99. It did work. Uh, Norm wound it up and we were trying to remember the tune and it finally dawned on me it was Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Yeah, I I could not think of the movie, but the the song is Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. Yeah, I get it. She's got an umbrella. So that makes sense. Very funny. Isn't this the craziest cookie jar that Norm found? It still had a saver sticker on it. I know that there, there it is, $8.99 at Goodwill. It is so funny. You see the chip on the back there. But I don't know who made that. It is really cute. I can't tell if that's a mouse. I guess I'd have to look at the tail again and back. But it's really cute colors, isn't it? So funny. Can't find any identification on it on the bottom. Boy, if you love parakeets, this is quite a piece for $14.99. Norm looked it over and he didn't see any uh, problems with it. Very, very colorful, isn't it? Wow. I did have parakeets when I was a kid. My cousin Linda has parakeets. She has enjoyed a lot of different ones, but it's sad when you lose them too, just like uh, any other pet. They have personality. So that was a very nice piece, and we believe it's Japan like the owl that was the dull finish. Well, this is right up my alley. I just love hobbyist speckled pieces like this, and I don't have that shape nor that color combination. That's really a limey green in there. Very, very fun. Maybe there's a little yellow in there too, I can't tell from the video here, but I love this. I'm taking this home. That's a deal, plus our coupon. Here's three nice pieces of art glass fruit. It would be $9 for all three of them, $2.99 each without a coupon. I have a glass ear of corn and pumpkins I put out, but I don't have any fruit and I wasn't planning on purchasing these, even though they are quite nice. Just don't have room for them. We found this an interesting piece fancy gold trim top on it. It had texture on it. It 
looks very old because of that crazy old piece of green felt and under the here was only a strange number 4065 doesn't mean anything but it looked like an old piece this is a really sweet angel hobbyist piece very nicely done it's not chipped anywhere on the tips of the wings the bottom does have uh, a date that we couldn't tell if it was 74 or 94 probably 74 and it does say mom right there I can't read the other name on the bottom but that was very cute these clowns were also very sweet very nicely done so colorful um, they have a bit of a sad face not scary one playing a violin and this other one not sure why he has his hands out and I don't know that mark on the bottom it could be German could be Japan really hard to tell for me I'm just not up on those things but they're sweet um, I don't collect clowns either but we thought you'd enjoy seeing them beautiful condition on the right you'll see a candle holder that says it's from Alaska this is a pretty little Mexican bird I'm sure a lot of people collect them or items that are painted like that from Mexico very nice nice price and of course there's more swans these are different shades both cute that one reminds me I bet that's Lennox it was quite a surprise finding this here at the thrift store it is a vintage Joseph like Joseph originals mouse string holder and scissor holder made in Japan it is a lorry design um, L-O-R-R-I-E there it is the sticker lorry and the ball of string would go in there for 99 and there's the Japan sticker that it looks like the ones that say Joseph originals the um, scissors goes into the top of the nose and the string would come out the package now this is a cute guy too it's a bank 299 he looked like he was in pretty good condition and they actually still had the stopper which is often missing but he's very cute too so I thought it would be fun to show you this item too I would call it an Ewer 1972 Dorothy made it it's a neat shape and it's a luster wear finish very uh, antique looking that was a nice item not my style but I think you would probably enjoy seeing that didn't see a price on it there were a lot of these large lap size trays there very nice pine cone design we happen to have a large set of the smaller ones that I like a lot ours don't have that brown edge on them they uh, were a little chippy on the edge just saying hi here I end up looking at a um, vintage Indiana glass diamond point pedestal compote up there so I don't see the price on it too far away Norm wasn't zooming in at that point but then I wanted to show you a funny 1983 swan it's for holding your li little guest towels or washcloths rolled up in the bathroom and that was from the 80s and they came in all different colors 
and people are starting to collect them because they think they're real mod looking. So I'd like to mention that that darling pink denim jacket I bought at Bibles for Missions for $3.58. And I've bought many, many neat jackets there like that for that same price. This here was a real surprise. It is a retro Hager Seagull. I, the price is $6.99. I got all excited about it. And I really wanted to get it, was determined we were going to bring that home, but that little chip on the tip of the wing, very small, made Norm say he really didn't want to get it. So, back it went. Well, here's the last sweet item uh, I'm showing today. It was $3.99. I believe it's a hobbyist piece. It is such a cutie dog with flowers on it. I have purchased some not too long ago, well, this past year, that had flowers on them. So I was going to add it to my collection of doggies, but Norm said, no, you just got too much stuff sitting around, and he's right. So I left it behind, so I hope you've enjoyed today's thrifting with voiceover. 